New and improved hatch tools in AutoCAD 2011 streamline the process of creating and editing hatch objects. A popular request from the Augie wish list was the ability to quickly send hatch objects to the back of the draw order display. When you create a new hatch in AutoCAD 2011, you're immediately prompted to select an internal point without a hatch dialog box to slow you down. As you pass the cursor over the boundary area, a preview image displays exactly what the hatch will look like. If it's not what you want, simply specify the appropriate hatch options in the context-sensitive Hatch Creation ribbon tab. With each option you specify, the hatch preview automatically updates to reflect the changes. Not only can you specify typical hatch options, such as pattern, scale, and angle, you can also specify the appropriate layer on the fly. Even after you've created a hatch, you can easily edit it with the context-sensitive Hatch Editor ribbon tab, which is automatically displayed upon selection. Editing gets even easier with a new hatch grip for direct manipulation of selected hatch objects. Simply hover the cursor over the grip and choose from the common editing operations. You can visually modify the hatch scale or enter a specific value. The same holds true for the hatch angle and setting the hatch origin doesn't get any easier than this. For example, if you want a brick pattern to start at the lower corner of the elevation, choose that option and snap to the proper point. To add more realism to the brick and other line-based hatch patterns, you can now apply a background color. This enables you to emulate the effect of layering hatches within a single hatch object.